Enjoy upcoming events from the Johnson County Library. The Johnson County Public Library is hosting historic walking tours. Those interested can contact the library to be put on a waiting list and will be notified when there are enough participants to schedule a tour. For more information or to register for these events, contact the Johnson County Public Library at 606-789-4355. <laughs> Call to order, Plainsville City Council Regular Meeting, Monday, August 12, 2019, 6 p.m., Plainsville Recreation Center. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance, Chief, you don't find it? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Work call the roll, please. David. Here. Sarah Blair. Here. Both. Present. Sarah Kimball. Here. Kim. Present. Rick. Present. All right. First thing, we want to give out a few awards. Are they all here, Miss Rob? <coughs> These are the best between the lakes from the Painful Herald. And the awards are as follows. In recognition of being voted for the citizens of Johnson County for being the best city police officer goes to Mike Rowe. Thank you, Chief. And what I just read before, to the best ambulance service. Is that you, Chief? Chief? Chief, somebody's got to come up here. Congratulations. And also, what I read before to the best firefighter, and that goes to Mr. Gary Melvin. And I'll remain standing. Best recreational activity that goes to the Paintsville Recreation Center. Uh -huh. Congratulations, you. You're welcome. <laughs> also, let me remind everybody September the 7th at 6 p.m. we will have our next Market 606. Uh, Saturday we had a back to school bash in the city parking lot and I'm assuming that was a huge success. Is there anybody here that attended that? Was it a success? There was a, lot of people, yeah. a lot of people there. That means it was a success. And I would like to introduce our new Main Street <coughs> director, Miss Linda Duncan. And with that said, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting July 2019? I'll make that motion to approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval of department reports. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll make it. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Department. Department. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Approval to pay bills as presented. I'll make a motion that we pay the bills as they are presented to us tonight. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Now, moving on to business, uh, I'm seeking approval from City Council for me to sign loan documents for a 2016 Ford Taurus for the Police Department. Where are we getting it from? Well, I think this is one of the 
Kentucky. This has given us the approval to find the best oh, rate. Oh, one. Correct, Kim? Oh, okay. okay. Well, they're going to your one. Oh, they've already looked at one at DDC Auto so. Yeah, but I think what they're asking is you'll look at the best rates. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I saw moves that we could uh, give you. you the, gotta have them. Yeah. Second thing. All in favor? Uh, uh, opposed. And the last thing on our agenda is we need to open sealed bids for the roof at ECAMI, <coughs> and it's my understanding we only had one? Yes. Is that correct? Now, I will add, when we advertise for those bids, I did put in there that we had to have at least two options to the bids. You mean you'd like them to do it all at once or do it in stages? Yes. Okay. I mean, it could have been any options they wanted to bid on, but we had to have at least two options. This bid is from, is it William? William Wade Smith? Uh, option one for the entire roof, turnkey, entire roof, $139,375. Kill a lot. Option two, turnkey entire roof system, delayed application and payment. What's that mean? Delayed application, delayed payment. What's is Mr. Mean? Smith here tonight? I think he is. Yeah. Speak it, Wade. That's just in phases. Oh, okay. So in parts. Like a section at a time, when it's complete, you get paid, and then you start on another one. And Actually, do it. it's uh, one coat. It's a, a two-coat system, so it'd be the first coat. And then, and then the second coat. So it's not the replacement is coating up the existing uh, well, uh, No. So this is going to be, this option two would be two, two stages. Yeah. Give us time to recoup some monies. Right. It, but is it? No, Don't you want me to go through the other options first? Oh, I was going to ask if yeah. there's, yeah, there's four options. Okay. Uh, turnkey entire roof system delayed application of payment one hundred and forty seven thousand six hundred and fifteen. And what that does and the reason it's higher is it delays your last payment to your next fiscal year. Okay. Option four, seam, bolts, and penetration coatings only seventy one thousand eight hundred. That just covers all the penetrations on the roof with the same product, but doesn't cover the entire roof. Well, that roof's in bad shape, I understand, right? There's 28,000 bolts on the Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. 139,375. But you can't locate exactly where the leak is, can you? It's been in bad shape already. Uh, we were, I mean, I'm surprised we didn't have to already do it. Well, there's 23 leaks in the building, and you've got 28,000 bolts, so there's a lot. You can't really narrow it down because on the inside, the insulation is against the roof, so it could be leaking here, soak the insulation, and drip over here. Is it a spray on process? Yep. It's got a 50 year warranty. I mean, I do know that. Yeah. And, and, it, and it, we're using it, and it's and hopefully it's going to be a really good thing. And we have to do it. And so whatever way you all think it should be, or whatever way Wade thinks is maybe the best way to do it is, but we have to do it. And, it, and even if they weren't there, we'd have to have it done to have some well, it's, else. It's a, if I'm not mistaken, it's in the agreement that we are. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And, but I did whatever's the easiest okay, for us. Okay, can, can, can for I have a motion from council to approve the bid to Mr. Wade Smith with the mayor's office being able to determine which option is going to be more financially feasible? I saw move we do that. Well, we'll one second. Yeah, that's good. You good? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Made it easy when you just had one bid. 
Well, what's the guarantee you got with that? 50 years. 50 years. It's what's your guarantee? <laughs> <laughs> you hope 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> You've been patching it up for a long time. Yeah. All right, I'll let the council. Council got anything? Uh, I know last time we talked about the properties and stuff mm -hmm. in town that need to work, and we've said about the Tron. Mm -hmm. Like, where do we stand on them? We stand about where we did last meeting we had. Okay. So, like, what's the process after that? Just more notices, or you would have to ask the city attorney. What that. do we do, city attorney? Well, you give notice of the violation, whatever it may be. Give them an opportunity to correct it, and if not, then the city's next step is to go in and make the corrections and get a lien against the property for the value of it. So okay. that's the, that's the worth the cost. That's, that's the process. And so what's the possibility of the city collecting back any time and effort and monies that we spend on the properties by putting a lien on it? Not much. Not much. So Not much. we fix it and we put a lien on it and we don't get that back. So do well, we, well, you could. Eventually, it would be a long time to do it. So do we just sit there and like, because we don't want to put the money into it and just let it continue to look the way it does? Well, I mean... That's the decision that has to be made. I mean, talk about cutting weeds, something like that, that's fairly easy, you know, but you're, you're expending resources to do that. Uh, but beyond that, you know, have to, it's a question of what you're talking about. It looks, some of the places, I know, look horrible. I do understand that. You know it. You see it too. Oh, it's terrible. Especially the ones that aren't lived in. I mean, yeah, that's, right. I mean, that's or ones that have my street caught fire. fire. I got you. And Mine too, buddy. They Mine just too. Yeah, they put the fire out and then no one ever went back to it. Um, I mean, is that what about like the bridge? Because like the swinging bridge. You know, there's a lot of people that want to see that. I mean, even if we can't use it, at least can we like get it cleaned up or something? Maybe get yeah, if you want to spend four hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars. You can have that old bridge taken out of there. If you want to have the old one taken out for four sixty two and a new one put in for eight hundred and sixty two thousand, you can do that too. Okay. These are just questions people ask me, and I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, they do. Sense. I know that. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll ask. We put in a uh, grant for that bridge at one time. If Regina was here, she could explain She's it. Here. Here. We put in a grant for that bridge and plus the sidewalks together. Did we not, Regina? Yes. And we were awarded the sidewalk project and not the bridge project. Correct. What did they say about the bridge, Regina? They said it was a liability or something, didn't they? They wanted a better plan for connectivity, meaning sidewalk to go um, on the other side. In other words, if you don't have a sidewalk, on the other side of that creek oh, yeah, that, was that would either go down uh, 321 right. or come up the back road to connect that swinging bridge they will not give you a grant for that bridge unless you got connectivity okay. the feasibility was not clear it wasn't going to be uh, very challenging to do that sidewalk from the bridge towards south side or the other way because you've narrowed Right away there. Well, there isn't anything <laughs> on the other side. There's no sidewalks, no nothing. Is there? It's just right away. Yeah, and it's just it's a drop off. It's a very steep drop off with rock and rock embankment. It would be very expensive and challenging. I mean, I, people have mentioned it through the years, but the, it's right now the the cost is prohibitive for us. You know, I mean, I miss all that stuff too. <laughs> you know, you know what we grew up with, but sometimes it, it's just that's that's real prohibitive unless you could get some kind of grant for it. Correct. Anything else from council? Um, how are we doing on the floodplain? I guess she could. I've okay. talked to, to her, but I would, you know, if we say we that. Have, we have a meeting at 1 o'clock 
with the Army Corps of Engineers Wednesday. Correct. And we will be able to inform you a whole lot better after this meeting. Right. Yeah, we've got one. We spoke to have a phone conference today at 1030 and they canceled that and then they're going to come in personally on Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Sounds good. You think they've about got it? Finally, want it? Man, I don't know. It's hard to. <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure them out sometimes. You better hurry up. They're going to get paid. We've <laughs> 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 got five years, eager now, but that's almost gone. Yeah. I know this is old, but what about Carter Lane? Well, Miss Kim could probably address that a little better than I could. I know uh, it's. I get asked that sometimes. That's about all we're not I'm, even in I'm, phase two yet, are no, we? We're still on phase one. We're still on yeah. phase one? Yes, yeah, we're not on phase two yet. Phase one was what acquisition? Yeah, that's been slow. What are we We're trying to resolve that. I think that's all. Just curious. I think what they're trying to do is to move some of the stuff from phase one into phase two so we can start phase two. Is that correct? Yeah, we've still got to close out phase one and it's not closed out yet. Yeah. We, we haven't got our money back on some of it, have we? Um, I think we have one more disbursement yeah. that we've not got yet. Everybody asks about that because of the way that street looks, you know. Yeah. And I've had people today call me and say, bring it up. But I understand that the engineers are, are the ones that are working on it right now to decide what they're going to do. And, I mean, there's not, you can't do anything if they won't let you do anything. That's but I'm, what I think is happening too is people are afraid now. It's getting it's got, we're we're in August, and here it's going to start fall, and then winter, and then it won't be done again. I know? can tell you right now, just my personal opinion, and newspaper. I want you to take this as a personal opinion. <laughs> Once it gets into fall and winter, as much as that property has moved. If it freezes, thaws, freezes, thaws, it could be a dangerous situation. I know that. I know. That's why we should. I know. I understand. So, I mean, big, heavy spring rains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we're just at their mercy at this point in time. I, I understand. I know. And I feel bad about it. But... At least they're not leaving. Okay, anything right. from the floor? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I live in the first house on the right, and people absolutely fly up through there. And my little girl cannot ride her bicycle at Can you give all. Give me that address. Uh, 520 WH Dixon Boulevard. It's awful. And there are multiple kids, you know, up there that just like to get out and play, and people just are so disrespectful. I've got more on my Oh, okay, yeah. 520 WH Dixon Boulevard. Yeah. Now, Eric, can I make a comment? You can. No. I hate to bring it up that it's in northern Kentucky, but that's the first one I saw. They can make those speed bumps now. You can just make them wider and longer. And they're like being on a road because it's almost fun to go over but you still have them. <laughs> but you, what I'm saying is it doesn't hurt my back, it doesn't hurt anything. And you just kind of glide over them, and, and, and it's just, it's it's a humped up stuff too, but it kind of raises you up and takes you over, but you have to, you can't do anything but slow down. And the ones we put up, I know I know they're cheaper, I know they're easier. If you don't but, slow down on that one that you've got in front of you, but I've got a right? muffler. Yeah. I have well, someone's muffler in my car. You know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, good. Maybe their engine will fall out next time. I, the mechanics can thank me later. Well, they must have put some on Preston Street because Fred liked to kill us coming in here. I mean, I didn't know they put those up. I mean, I don't care that they're put up, but I wish we could do, even if we had to spend a little more. Uh, they're tough on the school bus. But, but if so we could just spend a little bit more to get that, I think I had the pictures on my phone forever, but it is just, they're so nice, but you have to slow down. You don't, you don't get a chance not to, or you'll be airborne. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll just be airborne. But the, I just wish we could do that. I don't know how much they cost, but I'm I'm be willing to to say that taxpayers wouldn't care to pay for those if, if they're that nice. 
because we need a lot of them because people well, fly. I know I used I used to drive and I used to fly. I understand that. Well, well, the purpose <laughs> for a speed bump is slow you down. That's slow exactly down. right. I know what I'm saying. Uh, I just think those are hard on cars, and I, I think and a that young lady right there has got a legitimate drive. No, I know she does. You know what that's like. Yes, I, but I, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you what I get. I get people coming in asking for speed bumps. I put them up, then I got neighbors complaining that they want them down. That they don't want them there because it will drain water into the yards. Yeah, okay, I know that. So. Maybe what we ought to do as a council is adapt, adopt a policy that says if you've, got, if you've got a street that's got 10 homes, at least 60% of those residents have to want a speed bump. But I bet most of those people wouldn't yeah. do Well, they might. I'd say 100 of them. I had one put up when John David was mayor, and it was out the next day because somebody down the street didn't want it there. Mm -hmm. They had more clout than me. But the, the thing about it is, if, if we could if we could make those real nice ones, I don't think any I don't even think those people would complain. I'm telling you, they're Ronnie, tell them how nice they are. They're just the best, aren't they? Right. Just, they don't jar your teeth out of your head when you go over, but and you then, have to slow down. I got a question for Mike. You want to sit in my driveway for a little bit one evening? <laughs> I'm just saying, I can get you a lot. You can have a lot of tickets. But that's all, Bill. Like I, I would, I just would like to have the the nicer ones, not the ones you buy, not the purchase ones. These you make these, but they're. I'll, I'll just well, you know the guy we're gonna have to talk to to make sure it's feasible. Who is Jimmy, Big Jim? The guy that okay. Well, I mean, works for I mean, I would be glad to take him up there and show him how they're made, laid out. I'm, I'm sure they've got them online. Oh, I'm sure he'll know. We we'll just have to. And talk I know to him. it costs more, but I really, for the safety of our children. And and the, and the adults too, but this, for the safety of our children, and I just think that that would be a. And it looks like we're in the 21st century, and it's they're nice, they're really nice. And I know that we, are, I think we all deserve it. And if we, had, if I had to pay more taxes to do it, I'd do it. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> I mean, I want to do it to, for, to improve the swimming pool too. I'd like to tear that building down right now. Okay, you about what? And I'd like to tear it down. I would put. I would even raise my taxes to get that back over there with the inside pool. And I mean, we need it. We deserve it, and we ought to have it. Okay, I remember that. Anybody else on the floor? I know you will remember. <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> okay. I have a business downtown, as you know, uh -huh. and we've got several of the people here tonight. And I know I spoke with you about it before. Is there anything being done or talked about with the bathroom downtown for our customers? Not that I know of. Is there the bathroom, something? Bathroom. We have terrible issues with our restrooms, all these old buildings do. But I have my customers that they want to use the restroom. Well, my bathroom will clog up. It will, it's awful, okay? So there's really no place for them to go. When I say I don't have a public restroom, well, the other vendors and people downtown are the same way because their bathrooms are just as bad as mine. They get mad. I've been cussed at. <laughs> I've been, you know, it, it's it's awful that our town doesn't have anything. And I know it's hard because of the way the town is structured and the buildings and all that. But it makes us look bad when people come in from out of town and they don't have anything. Well, are you asking from like a sewer project and that way to get them fixed to where you're no not not a public, public restroom for public. downtown for All right, customers. let me ask you this since you're a business owner you're a business owner yes if we were to let's just say we were to put a public restroom in downtown now you know there's upkeep to those yes would the business owners downtown be willing to take a week at a time and keep those clean no but why should no you wouldn't but why should we? No. Well, you're that, wanting, my, you're wanting a public business, restaurant. But we bring business to downtown, too. I understand that. So why wouldn't we provide something for our customers who visit downtown? We're trying to bring business here. That's still part of tourism. You know, I mean, do you know how much, how much it would take to keep those public restrooms clean 
downtown and how much police work it's going to take to be able to collect needles and clean up blood and everything else, you know, inside a, a like structure. A Then what, what are we supposed to tell people? Because it's getting to the point, I mean, you all even put a sign up in yours that there's no public. Yeah, because somebody we was sending them to us. I have sent them to you. I have right? too. Because of our, our restroom problems, I went a long time with issues with mine. They had to put an anseator in mine. What did they say is wrong with it? My bathroom? Yeah. It's just old piping, pretty old much. Building. Just old building. I mean, I'm not trying to cause any issues. I'm just trying to come up with an idea oh, for, for people coming in. Issues. I'm just trying to find out a way that we're going to keep them all clean. And Do you own the building? No, no, I rent the building. Well, what about the person you rent from? I have spoke with them about it. And the, the issue remains, it's old piping. I mean, there's just, I don't know what else to do. I'm not the only, yeah, and, yeah. I'm not the only yeah. building. I don't, I don't own my building either. Down there. And we don't have a public restroom, so what's the? We're just looking for alternatives. When we're we're trying to do more to build downtown, we're doing the Market 606, which has been wonderful. It's a night thing, and we need to be able to accommodate people who are coming for those things, and and children, children, the the business owners get pretty. Hey, let me let me ask you this thing. I'll throw this out to you. Let's say that I get a price on putting a public restroom downtown. Would all the business owners be willing to kick in something that own, the people that own the buildings to be able to build that structure? Well, I rent my building, so I can't speak for the I owner. I don't own the building. I would have to speak with the building. Right. The building but I mean, I'm so you all can speak with the people that own the building and say if the city was wanted to put a public restroom downtown, would you be willing to kick in to... Uh, help with the cost of it. I'd be glad to speak to you. We would uh, speak to him, but, no problem at all. That'll work. but you She's probably know what the answer is going to be to that. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's yeah. probably going to be a negatory. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd, I'd love, I'd love to see restroom facilities down there. Just the maintenance of it, and the I mean, I mean, keep yeah. people out of it. Yeah, yeah. That's what you I'm know, you'd have to have somebody to lock. You'd have, you'd have to lock them at You have no choice. Yeah. Well, if you charge a flight, you know, and you put a, not to be mean to anyone, just saying, if you charge a fee to go to the bathroom, okay, but you put a plaque out stating that all of that money is going to go to help with the, I guess, the cleaning and the, the upkeep. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just trying to come up with a solution because we're the people who hear our customers. We're the ones that, that hear it and get cussed at and get... You just you just don't understand what we go through. Yeah, that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to, that's what you would have to do. I mean, just during, you'd have to have it just during business hours. It'd have to be locked. You'd have to have metal doors. I mean, it'd be closed at five o'clock and all that. Yeah. But open, but open during evenings when there are events going right, on downtown. Yeah, oh, yeah. Especially business hours. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. Yeah. And then you'd have to hire somebody to go in and clean it every yeah, two you hours. Would. You would. You would. Absolutely. Somebody would have to clean that restroom every two hours. Yeah. Or stay with it. It's a full time job. If it was a lot of people in there. But I understand people. People. Need a place to go. Yeah. I understand that. And, and if you're going to try to build a town. Yeah. You kind of had to. And older you get, the less time you have to go. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go, but Well, it's kinda of hard when you have, you know, I know, you I, hate it's doing, frustrating. I hate I know. doing that so I know. Especially I know. when they have children and you're like, okay, you know? Well I feel you like your old landlord just out and out said we're not that, fixing it. No. That's what that's who I think about huh? putting you know, fixing the piping or any of that. Huh? They just fixed my bathroom what? just enough for me and when I But they haven't denied that they wouldn't fix it, right? No, no. Have you asked them again? No. That's I wanted to come here to see what. Well, I mean, I'm just, I mean, we don't know what these things. I'm just wanting to know. I, I don't know who your landlord is, but why don't you just ask him one more time? And then we might talk to them ourselves. I'll be glad to do that. 
Uh, you know, yeah, I just. There's nothing wrong with your restroom. You just choose not to let people. I choose. I choose. Yeah, I choose not to let everybody. This is a landlord. There's nothing wrong. That's my. I mean, there's not a sewer issue. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm not here for that. I'm just here. I didn't know this was the one for this, but I just. Well, I didn't either. But go ahead. I'm just. I mean, I. She. It's a brand new bathroom downstairs for her. Okay. Well, and what we're trying to keep. So you're not having trouble. Not with my bathroom, no. I don't have any trouble. Okay. But there could be trouble. No, there could be, but I've never there, been there called to unclog yeah. the room. But you let the public use them? Um, no. I have a sign up that says no public restroom. Okay. The last time that I did this, me personally, with mine, I let, I let people use my restroom. What happened? Would you like me to be nice about it, or would you like me to tell you what really happened? No, I, I know probably what happened. <laughs> It was to the point that when you when when I'm outside throwing up, it's bad. Okay, and that was the last straw for me. And I hate doing that. I, I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm just trying to come up with a suggestion. That's all. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sit down and take a look at it and see if I can't come up with some type of plan to where the business owners will be invested also. Does that sound okay, everybody? I just know that it's it's a big that's a big it's another job another position. Yes, it is. I mean, you know, I do know that that, and I hate it for them, you know. But but everybody has a bathroom, you know. And if they choose not to let people use it, I think that's their right too. Mm -hmm. Right, but if you've got a couple bad eggs that make it awful for everybody. Oh, I'm and yeah, unfortunately, awful. yeah. I don't even know if Preston's Fertile Pipe has that. I, I don't know if they do. I mean, I know the, the cost is, so. is a lot. Just like your speed bumps, a couple of bad eggs make, make it bad for everybody. So is this... Want to fly, want to go down through there flying. And is this the first time that anything's been addressed about public restrooms? No, actually, town? Josh Johnson and I have sat down and talked about it. I've been in meetings before where it's been discussed. Yeah. <clears throat> well, tourism maybe should be involved in that. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Should be. Well, or or we should be able to send them to we should be able to send them to City Hall. We should be able to send them to tourism. Send what? The people who need to use the restroom. But you've got a restroom. I know. Why can't you that's what that's what that's I'm trying. Problem. To, yeah. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe you can just tell them that they, you're going to be standing outside of the door. They better do, they better do, take care of the problem. You know, it's so hard. I know. That is a tough one. I mean, that's a tough one. I, like I would want somebody coming in mine either and doing what they, you know, if it's somebody that treats it right, okay. right. let's it, look it, at it there and explore the possibilities. That's the know, best thing to like. do. I mean, just look at it. Just sit down and brainstorm it. Find out how, yeah. how often they're going to have to be cleaned. How, yeah. If you're going to have to hire another get, person to clean them, if you're going to have to hire a person to some, watch Get some bits. And, well, and, you know, uh, if it's so open all day, all day, you're going to have problems. You never know. You might get some volunteers that care enough about Main Street and tourism in the city to take them out. I don't know. You might. Build, build it to where you can take a water hose and spray it out. When you have the porta potties, and who, who takes free care power? of those? I guess the company that puts them That's in. That's what I was saying. Well, we I guess tourism is paying for those porta potties out back. Those porta potties out back right now, aren't they, Miss Kim? Are they gone now? Ah, they might be gone. Or did Main Street take care of them? Which one, tourism yeah. or Main Street? Yeah, Main Street only had them for the one day. How much are they for one day? Well, it depends on how many you get. It's like three twenty-five for. Weekend or something like that. Like you get, you take three people. But I'll take one. I'll take a look. Thanks. I'll take a look at. Thanks. I completely. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Could we address parking in downtown while we're at it? Well, yeah, we can. I mean, it's been addressed before, it's been tabled, it's supposed to be been checked, the ordinances and that, and I haven't heard anything since that meeting. Uh, but and so what are you wanting for your business? Tell us what you want. For my business, uh, I would like to have a two-hour parking, not just for my business, but for all the businesses downtown. 
we have um, people who work in the city and park on the street and stay there all day. I can count usually four or five people who work in the law firm across the street from me who park on the street and stay there all day. Okay. The public parking lot is, is amazing now. It's been resurfaced. It isn't that much farther for those people to walk, but for some reason they prefer to park on the street. Okay. So if we could just get something that was to our, if I could have one that says Peddler's Parking or if I could have one that says Loading Zone in front of my store. But for people to park right in front of my store and stay there all day is, is just not fair. Not, it's not fair. It's, it's, it's rude. I all mean, right, there's lots of All council wants to take a look at the parking? Anybody on council want to take a look at that situation? Well, I, take I, a think, I, think, I think it may be a legal question. What can you do and what can't you do? I, I, you know, well, you just you have, have to have them. I'm in well, didn't we don't have some, who was it? She can't have her own personal parking places on the street. Yeah. I can tell you that. I know right. that much. You can go yeah. two hours. No, like two that. hours. But there, you have At one point, I remember forces. someone going around with chalk. No, that was yeah, Jackie. Jackie. Okay, Jackie. yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. And you'd go around with chalk and mark your tire. You want to hire another person to do that? No, I was just wondering. I wasn't saying I want to hire someone. I was saying, didn't we used to have something like that? Yeah, we did. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure you could put meetings. up two-hour parking signs, but there are. I'm not so sure that they would adhere to it. Yeah, you think there's nobody to police it. Is I guess the way I'm looking at it. Well, have you, you gone know, and asked them to I'm stop not parking? That's the right thing to do. No, um, it's just my fact. understanding is that the mayor and some of the other people are going to go talk to. The the people that worked in these offices and asked them to, to not park on the street. In my personal holiday. opinion, I've always found that if you go to someone yourself first, then that might help things. Then you have before you take it to the next step. To me, it would. This has been addressed already. Uh, the ordinances. Someone was supposed to check the ordinances and see if there were ordinances that. For, that what the orbit ordinance is said about parking. I mean, I can look at it online. Have you gone online and looked at the I ordinances? Haven't. Yeah, just hey, go to the city of Paintsville and go to government, and there's a tab on there, and you can click ordinances. It takes you to another page, and it'll pull up every single ordinance that the city has. Every chapter, so, every article, everything. It, okay. The people here on the board, is there anyone here that's familiar with the ordinances that address parking in downtown Paintsville? Mr. Baldwin is. I am not. There's no restriction on, I guess what you're talking about is having a restriction on the time on the street. Could we, could really we as a council make decisions on that? Or? You if you want to hire another person, person says that. used to, you had a green line, I believe it was a green line yeah. on right. there that was two-hour parking, right. and you would have signs, and then a yellow line, and, and then you would have loading and unloading spots, right. the question and then, but you had, you also had parking meters. And when they took those out is when I think they pretty much did away right. with all of it. Yeah. And that, that was, you because know. Because how can you keep someone from parking? But it's all free, so what's the difference between the customer parking in the parking lot or 10 steps away or on the street? What's the well, difference? the difference the is the parking, the, the on-the-street parking is taken up by people who work in town and, and take those parking places up all day. But do you feel it makes a difference in traffic coming in your store whether they park on the street or 50 feet away in a parking lot? I, well, it's I do. all free. It I would do. because of the items they have to carry out or they choose to carry. You know, so you've got a problem with, with purchasing. goods getting in and out of your, out of your yes. store. What about around back? Don't you have a way to get, I mean, how do you get stuff in and out? Does it have to go in the front door? Can we, go in the back? we do have a back entrance, but it's not like open to the public. <laughs> Why is it open to the public? Make your decision. Why don't you open it to the public and let them take their It's a risk the for shoplifters. Well, now you, you you do understand that they they own the width of their building. Yeah. In in the back of your building, you. So if your customer wants to go around the back, owner owns the width of that building all the way to Bank Creek. I agree. I understand. So that. if your customer wants so to go around much, back, so how much do we own? How much does the property owner own on in the front of the building where the sidewalks are? You the own street. where the curb starts. To where, where the that curb, curb is. You don't own the street, though. You don't own the street where that curb starts. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. We're not going to try to do anything about it. 
I'll take a look at it for you if you want me to. Well, I think this is not the first time that this has been addressed, but I haven't seen any progress. This is my this first time. This is my first time here. I think you brought up. Well, I mean, this is a second council okay. meeting. Yes, I remember you. Uh, but but I was under the understanding that you were, if, it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was during the holidays. And I thought that's what you were wanting then, was just to try to get something done during the holidays because you had more traffic in there. I didn't, I didn't understand no, that you wanted No, it's every day. No, it's an everyday thing. It's that's what I said. I wasn't thing. under that understanding. But I do remember when you came I in. I do remember it was about the gearheads and them closing the street at yeah. 9 o'clock in the morning. And that was discussed also. Mm -hmm. But public parking is, is, a, is a problem. Public parking is a problem when people who work downtown take up all the on-street parking. Where do you park? I park in the public parking lot. If I have to unload, I pull in front of my store, I unload, or I go to the back of the store and I unload, I never park mm -hmm. on the street during business hours. Yeah. And neither do my vendors. But your customers can park in that parking lot too. Absolutely, they can. And park behind and I've the had store, people, too. I've had people who say, I circled around this block three times and I couldn't find a place to park so I didn't stop. There's people who are handicapped that want to come in. There's, there's. Do we have any handicapped parking in front of your store? Not in front of the store. Now there's two nice handicapped parkings now. Right there in the city parking lot, right across from our store. In the in the in the city lot now there's there's two. Yeah, so when they redid the city lot, they put two handicapped parking spaces there, which is is nice. It's really nice. Yeah. But we don't have what we've got some on the corner there in front of Wilmot's, but we don't have any on Main Street. Yes, you're correct. So if there's, no, there are, there are, there are some on my street. Yeah, there are. But if there's yes. not a, a parking meter, and if we don't have someone going around checking park, parking, and you're wanting people to stop parking there for your customers, I mean, I, me personally, I would just go to the person who owns the car and say, "Can you please move?" Yeah, well, we've 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 addressed we've addressed that. Oh, with a okay. You said you didn't. You hadn't done that. Yes, we have. We okay. have. We've uh, with a couple of people who park there. On a regular basis, we've asked them nicely, you know, why don't you use the city parking lot? And what do they say? They don't say they won't, or they don't say they will. They just say you don't own the they, you, you don't own the street. You don't own the parking. <laughs> and you don't. Right. But I mean, it's so why I, I guess I don't know. Him. I don't know what was said in that conversation. So I guess well, well never. Mind. I'll take a look at it. Anything else from the floor? All right. Motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned.